and it's got like a hand insignia on it. Um, it's got the old Mason masonry mm-hmm. or uh, symbols on it. Have you ever seen Is one it of the, those? The one with the the. Is it like clasped hands, talking- Gypsy? It may be clasped hands. I don't remember. I found one before. It wasn't in the best of shape. It had been flattened. But really cool. I just wondered, since you knew a lot about mason jars, if you'd seen that. I'd have to see a um, picture of it. I might okay. be able to to All reference right. it back. Cause I've got a bunch of reference materials for those. Okay, cool. Um, I have not yeah. ever really seen but one duplicate of it I found like online when I was researching and I haven't found another one like it since the first time I researched it but it was just so cool Um, just the old um, you know symbols on it and everything Mm -hmm. it's really cool that's so neat so now with all your detecting and stuff, have you ever found an item that you were able to return to like its rightful owner? Not yet, unfortunately. The odd, I did find one odd find. I was actually detecting at a park here in my hometown and I found a crematory tag. Mm-hmm. Like, And it wasn't even buried deep. It was like two and a half, three inches deep. And which, you know, was very off-putting, but I'm, I didn't want to just leave it there. I didn't feel right just leaving it there it, in this park. I don't, I have no idea how it ended up there. I speculate maybe that fill dirt was brought in and it came with the fill dirt because I did find some other odd stuff for, you know, that for being in a park. And so I contacted the place and I sent them a picture and I said, I found this while I was detecting. I would love to return it to whom, you know, whomever family member you may have on file. Um, you know, please feel free to pass my information along to them so they can contact me. Well, they came back and said, well, why don't you just send it to us and we'll take care of it, which I was not, uh, I was not willing to do that Yeah, because I was, you know, my, I was afraid it was just going to end up in, you know, someone's just toss it in a drawer or, pitch it or whatever and I'm like that's not right so I respectfully declined and I said you have my information if you do have anything on file for that goes with this tag please forward the information on and I will just appoint myself the keeper of this tag until such time that's good because it probably it doesn't sound like they were going to research it very much I mean no I did not get that impression at all. So I figured I would just keep it safe and be a caretaker. Yeah, that's smart. All right. Well, um, so all of that, why don't we get in while we're, before we get uh, too far in. So we've been talking a little bit about our hunt. So um, I had scheduled my uh, Gypsy Jewel birthday bash hunt and then found out that sue's token hunt was going to be on the same weekend so we decided to combine and boy i don't know about you sue but i am so excited because i mean i think us joining together we have so many things that we're getting (laughs) we do have so much stuff there's going to be so much in the ground, there's going to be so much because I saw her prizes. I think so. I'll send you a list and you of the still stuff need to I see have. All my stuff. <laughs> I I didn't even see everything that you yeah, had. Yeah, I still know. didn't even so, see everything. We didn't really have time. Um, and then Sue's got more stuff that she's going to bring. And then today from Garrett, um, I had to stop by Garrett, and while I was there, they gave me a. Um, I, uh, uh, Garrett Apex, Apex and a um, pin pointer to give away. And um, it sounds like they're also going to be sending a box of goodies as well 
on top of another box of goodies that I know Sue's already got from Garrett. Um, can I you get a Garrett A400 as well? I think that's what they put in there. I got. I did get that. They gave me a couple of those new shovels that look amazing. Um, oh, well, and of course, I, I know a lot of other goodies to give away. Um, so yes, the, between the two of us, we have almost an we're, absurd amount of prizes we're going to be giving away. <laughs> and not to mention, we still probably got about two thousand more token stuff I've got to put in the ground. So. I'm going to be busy next week. There's going to be so um, much stuff in the ground to, just between the what, what we're seeding with and everything we have for token prizes. And we, there will be a raffle as well. we got some nice stuff for the raffle. Um, and I got my new yeah, hats the, in. So I'll be giving away some of my new hats, my embroidered hats. And then I'll also be selling some at the event. And then my coffees, too. I'll be selling those and giving some away as, as some prizes as well. So, um, And then heavy metal detectors that is in the chat tonight is sending me some goodies, uh, too, that he made uh, with my logo on there. I think it's like some fines mats where you can put your fines down. So that'll be super cool. Um, so we've got treasure. We've got some amazing gifts. So... I hope you, if you mm-hmm. can make it, um, it, it will, um, we would, we would love to have you there. We've got, everybody's going to go home with some prizes or something. Nobody will go home empty handed. That's for sure. Nobody will go home. Empty. That's true. Now it's, uh, okay. November 11th and where in Texas? Just so November those 4th. listening, November 4th, she's Louise. <laughs> November 4th, so and tired. yeah, where uh, where exactly in Texas? So Pittsburgh, Texas is Pittsburgh. in between um, in between Pittsburgh, Texas, and um, Gilmer, Texas, and probably the easiest way to find it is find your way to Simpsonville, which Simpsonville is right up the road, a mile up the road from where I live. So uh, we are working on getting some maps and uh we will be sending out a pin uh for people to find it gps wise um but uh right now um there's not an actual physical address for it because it is farmland so we're gonna get people there through um (laughs) she's got some signs that we're going to be putting out and through directions and everything. So um, if, you're ha- if you do, as it gets closer to time, um, let us know and we can drop you a pin. But we'll be making some maps and have some, some sort of direction for you. Get you, get you there closer. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, it sounds like a ton of fun. And for those of us up north that want to escape the cold that is coming in, I mean, there's always an option of uh, heading on down south. Yeah, it would definitely be worth your $55 uh, for the hunt fee and whatever you spend coming. I mean, just alone, just just the camaraderie, you know, Um it, we're going to have some fun games and it's just going to be a fun time. Uh, mainly, you know, to spend with uh, fellow detectors that are just, you know, as excited um, about metal detecting and treasure hunting as, as, as passionate as we are. So it'll be a blast. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, when I was telling Sue how to get there to to uh, help me plant, that's exactly <laughs> how I was telling her. Turn by the big tree, cross the creek, <laughs> exactly <laughs> like that. Look but for I the big red it. barn. Look for the big red barn, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when she told me that, I started laughing. I'm like, that she is the most Texas, Texas directions you could ever give anyone. <laughs> Just look for the big red barn. Because... <sighs> 
I know when I give people direction or I give them the address to come out to the farm, their GPS takes them some crazy place. So way not where we live. (laughs) (laughs) That's, that's the only problem about living in Egypt BFF. So, um, it's, 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 it's the way it goes. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say across over off the farm road twenty four hundred by the big red barn. Boy, that sounds country. country. Yeah, oh, yeah, it does. <sighs> but anyway, yep. <laughs> if you hear banjo music, oh my god! If you hear banjo Never music, me. you've gone too far. <laughs> you need yeah. to turn around and go back. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, I forget who we were hunting with, and we were talking about it. Maybe it was. <laughs> oh yeah, gosh! That. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm off in left field right now. Uh, that was that. That was. Oh, who was I hunting oh, with? Come on, that was funny. <laughs> I was hunting with somebody, and it seems like it was in Louisiana. And we were like, "Who was it? Or was it when we went to Arkansas for my birthday last year?" Anyway, yeah, we were like going through this area, and we're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I think it was for my birthday." And we're like, oh my gosh, where are we at? We're we're gonna be out here, and we in no man's land. It looks like they're gonna break out with banjo music any minute. And so we started playing the. <laughs> <da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da>. <laughs> we got banjo oh music up goodness. here in Maine too. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> banjo music oh, is probably very good. Yeah, it's probably be said for pretty much any rural yeah. area. Yep. In the yeah, United true. States, if you hear banjo music, well, you need to turn around and go back the other way. <laughs> I think what it was, we were in Arkansas. So speaking of Arkansas, mm-hmm. uh, Sue will be going to uh, this this coming weekend. Uh, some of you may be going too, as well, to the Kadoha hunt. And um, up there past Murfreesboro, you get into some areas that are very, you know, you got a little bit of those areas where you kind of expect somebody to come walking out of the woods barefooted, you know, hmm. um, you know <laughs> maybe playing a banjo. <laughs> hey, now, that's just me, and there's no pictures allowed, okay? <laughs> and a corn cob pipe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, overalls and uh, a straw hat as well. Yep, yep. yep I've yep. got both of those as well. <laughs> and and sorry, but John plays the banjo, so we fit right in. Oh <laughs> man, I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. I, was no, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've got more than three teeth, but yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this will be but, my first time to do the Kadoha hunt, and I I am so excited about it. I am it super is a super lot excited of about fun. it. It is a lot of fun. So last year, um, I know Rusty came down, and he ended up with uh, one of the to- he cleaned house, but he's just one of those that has been to so many of those type of those type of hunts that he's just you know he goes out there and pops them out of the ground like they're candy you know and i forget how many tokens he had last last year but he ended up with a thousand dollar token he won a thousand dollars i was like was he the one with the thousand yeah i was like was he the one with the thousand or the gold piece or whatever um no another guy won a gold yeah won a gold coin i think he's got five gold coins this year so um, Brandon really goes above and beyond uh, with his hunt. Uh, someday I'll get there, but uh, and he's been growing and growing and growing. So um, it, it's we're going to have a blast, Sue. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be so um, much I fun. I'm so looking forward to it. I, I can't wait. I think he's almost outgrown that area, though. Um, with with uh, I think I don't know how many 
take a piece. But I think he has a a deadline.